with open hearts and open minds. First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado presents Hope and Coffee with Pastor Hugo Venegas. Hi, this is Hugo Venegas. It is Monday. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hope and Coffee. We are doing a new series this week, and it's called Wisdom, the Benefits of Wisdom. We're going to be studying Proverbs chapter 3, all the, the verses that are in chapter 3, and we're going to be looking at this whole topic of wisdom. Uh, I, I got back uh, here to Pueblo over a week ago, and one of the first things that I was asked to do was to attend a Zoom uh, with the conference office and uh, the benefits, the health benefits that we have uh, that are offered by the Mountain Sky uh, Methodist Conference. And they gave us a list of benefits and uh, doctors and dentists and eye stuff and, and uh, how we could uh, set up accounts with them. And they gave us all this information, an hour and a half worth of information on our benefits. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the benefits of wisdom for the next uh, four weeks. Uh, we're studying Proverbs chapter 3. Now, what is the ultimate goal of wisdom? What is the, what is the point of wisdom? And let me define wisdom. Wisdom is divine insight, spiritual guidance, as to how we should live our lives practically on earth. It is insight. God gives us perspectives. God gives us direction. God gives us guidelines. God gives us uh, commandments. He gives us a set of, 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 of things that we are to do, and I'm going to call them habits. They're going to be habits that are listed in, in Proverbs chapter 3, but then there, we see also a catalog of benefits. And, and let me start out by having us go to verses 13 through 15 of Proverbs chapter 3 so that we can talk about what are the benefits. And it says here, uh, oops, it says here I have the wrong page. It says, Blessed is the man and woman who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Now, uh, what, what the writer of Proverbs is saying is that, that nothing can compare with wisdom, that the benefits are wisdom. It's, 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 it's uh, more profitable than silver and gold, uh, more precious than pearls, and uh, nothing you can desire. If you can think of the most outrageous thing that you can desire out of life, uh, Solomon, the writer of Proverbs, uh, is saying that nothing can compare to the wisdom, the profit that wisdom is going to bring into your life. So we're going to look at the, these profits. What are the things that if we cultivate the habits, their habits that lead to a blessed life, their habits that lead to the ultimate goal of wisdom. And what is the ultimate goal of wisdom? Folks, it is a life of happiness. That's why it says, blessed is the man, blessed is the woman who, who finds wisdom. And in the ancient world, people used to go uh, looking for gold. Uh, they used to look for, for, for pearls. And these precious stones were profitable. If you would find a precious stone, if you would dig into the earth and 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 uh, mine gold, uh, that that would make you rich. And what what Proverbs is telling us is that there are an abundance of riches that you can get from wisdom. And the number one is a life of happiness. Whenever you see blessed in Scripture, it means fortunate. It means happy. And uh, it talks about the blessed life of shalom. Shalom, the peace of God, is it's not just an interior peace, but it's a life of well-being. It, it talks about abundance and the well-being, abundance and the peace, peace of mind, the peace of heart, a physical fitness, meaning that we're not stressed out, we're not anxious. These are all the benefits of wisdom. So I want to invite you, I want to invite you, to hook us, hook, you know, connect with us every week 
And uh, for the next four weeks, we're going to be looking at the benefits of wisdom. More precious than gold, more precious than what the stock market can yield in your life, uh, more precious than an inheritance, a life of supreme happiness. That is what is going to be yours if we live a life of wisdom. Remember that, that, that Solomon, who was who was uh, favored by God. Uh, God was so pleased with Solomon. And he said, Solomon, you ask me for whatever you, you want. Whatever you want, and I will give it to you. If God were to show up to you and say, hey, ask me for whatever you want. What would you ask for him? What you, would you ask from him? And you know what Solomon said? Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. I'm like, can you give us a new quarterback for the Broncos? Can you give us money for the mission in Africa? Could you give us a vaccine? God, I want a vaccine. And Solomon did not want any of those things. He wanted wisdom. He wanted insight into the principles that God blesses our lives and allows abundance and well-being. And uh, ultimately, riches became a part of Solomon's experience because wisdom blesses us financially, in our relationships, in our connection with God. So I invite you, join me back tomorrow as we start going down the benefits of wisdom. This is Hugo Venegas from the First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed our inspirational Bible study, like or subscribe below. Join us for worship online or in person. You can visit us at firstumcpueblo.org or you can come by at 310 West 11th Street, Pueblo, Colorado, 81003. Give us a call, 719-544-1917, and join us again tomorrow for another inspirational Bible study. We'll see you soon.